Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to be doing a little chit chat, get ready with me. Um, this video is probably going to be pretty long, honestly. I talk about my pregnancy, Black Friday deals, um, the baby's room, my plans for after I have the baby, stuff like that. So if you want to see, and I can go ahead and do my makeup obviously, and I kind of mentioned what I'm doing. This is a get ready with me, so I'm not really doing a tutorial style video of telling you exactly what I'm using or whatever, but you'll kind of see what I'm doing as I go. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into the video. <laughs> Thanksgiving, so that means Black Friday. Oh, we can talk about that. So many deals going on right now. I'm gonna have this up the same day, so it'll still be going on, I think. I think a lot of the brands too are doing like Black Friday and the sale's gonna be on this whole weekend and for Cyber Monday, or they're gonna do it again on Cyber Monday, I don't know, but there are so many deals going on it's crazy. I bought a few things already. I've already started my Christmas, um, where'd it go? And I'm taking my All Hours Foundation from YSL. Um, I've already started my Christmas shopping. I have nine kids to shop for, including Bryson. So I definitely wanted to go ahead and like start on it because it gets expensive. If you're trying to like buy all your family like gifts. At like one time or like closer to Christmas, it just gets so expensive. So I really wanted to start early this year. I mean, I always want to start early each year, but I really wanted to start early this year. And I actually have, so I'm pretty proud of myself because there are so many deals going on. I want to take advantage of that and get a lot of my Christmas shopping done since everything is at like a discounted price. Just save a little money. The holidays just make you broke. But I already got a couple of my nieces and a couple of my nieces. I already got some of my nieces and nephews their gifts already. And yeah, like I said, there's nine kids to shop for, so it gets expensive. I think I know what I'm getting my parents. It's kind of, it's so hard to shop for my parents because you know, they have everything. I assume like everybody else, like what do you ever buy your parents? Because you know, obviously they can afford to get whatever they need. They probably have most of the stuff that they want or whatever, so it's hard to shop for them. Like, what do you get them? So, I kind of just stick to what I know they'll probably like, even if they already have something like that, like maybe gym clothes. My dad goes to the gym every single day. So, uh, we always like to get him gym clothes and like gym shoes because he does go through them. So, and then my mom, I think I'm getting her something for her house. I get her a purse and stuff, but she has like a bajillion purses, so she does not need another one. But anyway, so I've already started uh, getting stuff. So besides for people who I'm buying for, like, and I also wanted to be like, lately I've been way into like planning and like I have a bullet journal that I've been doing with, um, you know, just setting up as my planner and stuff, which really helps me, especially with like cooking throughout the week. I'll put like what meals I want to make and it helps me out so much because I hate like scrambling to like, what am I going to cook? Do I have this or do I have that one? I have it on my planner of ideas of what to cook or what I'm going to cook those days. I already know like, oh, I need to get this or that, whatever, after work or whatever it makes it so much easier but um i have like a christmas list on there and i've just been kind of like marking off who i've got and i've been putting on there um just taking some concealer 
um, and I've been putting on there like what I want to buy them or what they need so that I don't have to like keep thinking and busting my brain figuring out what the hell to get each person. So that makes it pretty easy. But besides buying for other people, um, I did do some shopping for me. Levi's. I love Levi's jeans. I only have one pair. But I loved it. And obviously I can't wear that right now because I am pregnant. But I love those jeans. I love the look of them. They're just like that classic vintage vibe. And I feel like the shades that they have are so good. And they're such great quality. Especially like the high rise one. I love the fit of them. Compared to like a lot of other brands that are probably like cheaper, but because Levi's is pretty expensive, but they are having a 40% off discount right now. So I got a few pairs in the sizes that I was thinking I am. And I'm just gonna have my sister try them on for me. Like the size, I know what size I got in the pair that I did, that I do have already and that fit me fine before getting pregnant. So, but I really wanted to buy some for after pregnancy because when is this deal gonna go on again? You know, and Levi's jeans are so good, but they're so expensive. Like the pair that I do have where it was a hundred, I'm pretty sure I got a discount on it when I bought it from Urban Outfitters, but it was nothing compared to like what's going on right now. So I really wanted to get a few pairs. I think I only got, yeah, I got like three pairs. So for me, for after I have the baby. And hopefully I fit into them, I should because, I don't know, I've been like going to the gym, making sure I keep the baby weight down. And that's not just because, you know, I don't wanna get gain so much weight or I'm being vain and I don't wanna look fat or this or that. It's cause I know for me, like a healthy weight is between, I think 25 to 35 pounds gaining weight during pregnancy and I'm not trying to go over that. I want to be healthy and I know working out too just is going to help with labor and all that kind of stuff later on and how quickly um, like I'll bounce back. So there's plenty of reasons why I do that but I think it'll help. I think I should be fine with the jeans and the sizes that I got because my sister's always been a little bit thicker than me. So having her try them on should work for me for afterwards. I don't know how much my body's gonna change, but we'll see. So I got some of those. The other thing, what else did I get? I don't know what else I got, but I am. I'm just gonna go ahead and set all that. I am going to The other one I want I, that I saw that there was a discount for is Fashion Nova. I think they have like a really big discount and so does Boohoo, but Boohoo has like a discount all the time. Um, I really want to look on those for like some basics. I've been buying, like I only have, I have a few maternity jeans and that's all I've been buying. I haven't been buying like maternity shirts or anything like that. I've just been kind of sizing up or still wearing the same tops as before that but just most of my tops are more on the loose side so they still they fit my belly right now anyways i don't know for how much longer because my belly is getting bigger but i've just been i'm, I'm gonna be sizing up for the shirts that i do buy and i really want to get some from fashion over because i love some of the basics that they have there and it's affordable and i know it's pretty good quality and they're just basics, like I want some white long sleeves, like black long sleeves, black t-shirt, gray, just some basics, especially because we are going to, we're going to Tennessee, well really North Carolina at the end of December. And I think the weather, it says, I mean, it's not as accurate as it will be like here soon, but it says it's gonna be like, highs 40s lows around like the 20s so i want to get some stuff for over there for the cold weather so i want to get some stuff to like layer i don't want to get something that's too bulky because really here in florida you're 
it doesn't ever get that cold so I'm out. I don't want to buy like these really heavy heavy coats that I'm never gonna really get to wear here so I really I bought like I did buy something from Boohoo the other day like it was just a jacket I do have some coats already so I don't want to buy too many but I did buy this other coat and um these like hiker boots and that was a good deal I got them for like 50 bucks and I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze my face real quick but I just want mainly I have like a few jackets that I want to be taking and then I want to have just like layering pieces I did go to the Old Navy the other day and they were already having their discount sort of sales going on everything was like 50% off and I really went there to just get the boys an outfit to wear for Thanksgiving yesterday but they were having such a good sale I didn't really get anything for me except like one little cute pajama set but I got them an outfit and then I also got these jackets from there that were I got probably less than 20 bucks one jacket for Blake because I know he obviously I don't know why but he um, loves the cold and he doesn't get as cold as I do so I don't want to get him to a uh, coat that's like too thick for him and him be sweating because I know that's what will happen if I do and I saw there was like a jacket there that he would just wear like layers under and I think he'd be fine for him and for Bryson I got Bryson a green like khaki one and then Blake's is like a brown one because he, he already has a black jacket and so does Bryson so I figured I would just get them those colors because I feel like that would go with a lot of different outfits and I was looking on H&M they have 30% off I think right now and I have like my basket full of clothes for Bryson I think it's like 10 pieces and it's like a hundred bucks or maybe even a little bit less and I was just getting him some like long sleeves that aren't too thick or anything like that because again we live in Florida so I don't want to waste my money on stuff that he's not going to even be able to wear later on so most of it was just like long sleeves and some jeans because he does need some jeans the ones he has are not fitting him anymore so I wanted to buy that for him get that over with just putting on some blush all right but anywho so many deals going on I'm probably gonna get that stuff from H&M for Bryson I think they had some coats there that I liked for uh, Blake but since I just got that one from Old Navy from him then I don't see the point in buying any other ones and what else what other deals like I said I wanted to get some stuff for me some basics that I can wear for right now and stuff that hopefully will still fit me after like I don't want to size two up because I don't think I'm gonna get that big I don't know but we will see um I'm just doing my eyebrows really quick and I have been doing them with the Anastasia brow powder in the shade what is this soft brown and I really like this because it makes it so easy and quick I feel like they just give a more like natural look because I know I can be a little harsh with the pencil and this just saves time honestly so I'm all about that right now and especially after having a baby I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep doing this whatever works and makes it easiest for Morphe if you're into makeup and all that there are so many deals going on too Morphe has I think 25% off I don't know how long that's gonna last, but I would just check and all that, but I don't have anything that I want from Morphe, but I know some people, something, some people that I can get from there for gifts, because I know that's what they would want. So I might just hop on over there and get them something from there. I really need to, like, we have, we, I have been like putting off not even really trying to it's just that's how it's been doing the baby's room we finally got a light in there because it was just the guest room it was like just a spare room that we were getting to like put junk in they didn't even have a light because nobody really goes in there and i want to go ahead and start decorating and putting up her stuff because i have her crib and her 
her dresser already. I just haven't um, assembled it because there's still stuff in there that we need to get out. So, I'm just waiting to like get all that stuff out because there's a lot of junk in there so I have to go through it and all that. So I'm just waiting. Because we have stuff but we just need to like organize it and put it away somewhere or get rid of it and it's kind of hard to do that. When you work every single day and you get home and you got other stuff to do and it's just been getting put off and put off and I need to do it. I want her room done. And then like her back, her her uh, closet that she is going to have is the one that I'm currently using. So I also need to go through that, go through my closet. And um, I want to go ahead and like purge and get rid of so many things because I don't wear a lot of the stuff that I have in there. I am really just like a basic girl. Like I know I have some print tops in there and stuff, but I never wear them. I usually stick to like whites and blacks and like grays and jeans. What I will switch it up is with like my shoes or with my jackets and stuff. Other than that, I'm pretty basic. I don't like buying stuff that I'm not going to wear later on. And that's just my style. Like I always want to try and like be really trendy and fashionable and stuff like that. But it's not always like cheap to do that and then like those styles go out like those trends go out and stuff and then you just have things that you don't aren't even gonna wear anymore and it was just like a waste of money so i've been trying to be more aware of how i spend my money on clothes and like think it's like re like am i really going to wear this in a few months or in a few years because that's the kind of stuff i want is like staple pieces and basics that i can make a ton of looks from but I need to go through that and get it out of there because I want to purge and get all get rid of some of those things. And then I want to redo the closet that's in our bedroom, the master closet or whatever. And because it's currently just Blake's, but I want to redo it so um, there's like two because there's only one like rack to hang things on, and I want to go ahead and do like a double rack so that we have space for mine and his stuff, and just to make it more organized and to save space. So I want to do all that. I just need to find the time. But that's just another reason why I go to the gym. It's because I want to feel good about myself and I want to do whatever I possibly can while, you know, being safe for the baby and all that and giving me the best, uh, what's it called? Best chances of bouncing back quickly. And that might sound like stupid to some people, or you know, I'm gonna have a baby to worry about and this and that. But I also want to just make sure I'm taking care of myself, which also means taking care of my body and my mind. And to me, it's just I am just as important as the baby. Like I do not want to be one of those moms that just forgets about themselves and doesn't have any me time and this and that because I know how important it is to have time to yourself, make sure you're doing good because if you're not happy, how is your baby gonna be happy? That's what I think. So, I don't know, that's why I do what I do. And I know I've had a few people already tell me like, just wait till you have your kid or wait till she's here and this and that, you're not gonna have time for all this and that. But I think that's just an excuse for honestly lazy people. Because if you want something, you're gonna find a way to do that you're gonna find a way to achieve that you're gonna find if you want to go to the gym you're gonna find a way to go to the gym whether you have to take your baby with you or go early while you're you know your significant other if you have that or someone watches the baby you're gonna do what you need to do and it's pretty much as simple as that to me in my book i know it's not gonna be easy obviously it's gonna be a lot harder but i still think it's possible and i know for me i am gonna have help from blake so I know it'll make it a little bit easier to do what I need to do and all that kind of stuff. Like I know it's going to be hard, but I know I'm going to have some help. And I'm not, I mean, I have, I'll have my family and stuff, but I'm really not going to be depending on them too much, hopefully, because they all have their own stuff to worry about. So I know me and Blake will figure it out and work it out to where we do what we got to do. I think I'm going to use this 
shimmery shade right here. But that's my little spiel on that subject. Like I, to me, it bothers me when I see so many people just use that their kids as an excuse to why they don't do this or do that. Like, yes, I know you're gonna give up some things or life is gonna change when you have a kid and you're gonna have to, you know, they're the priority. But you are also a priority. Like, you can't help anybody if you can't help yourself. Like, if you're not doing good, how are you going to help somebody else do good? And that's how I see it. So, I don't know. I just hate when people use their kids as an excuse. Like, I don't want my kid to hold me back from doing anything. I want my kid to do stuff with me. I want to do things that I normally would have done before having a kid. And just make it work in a new way. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it on that subject. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. It was so good. We had um, lunch with Blake's family and then we had dinner with my family and it was a good time. We played Loteria at our family's house. We had a good time at his mom's house. It was all good. And now I'm taking this darker shade right here. pictures to do because I also do pictures <laughs> do makeup and I do pictures so I'm doing some Christmas pictures here in a couple hours so I wanted to get somewhat dressed and then I have to clean finish cleaning the house and doing all this stuff Bryson left today and Blake went four willing so have the house to myself, get to get, you know, get caught up on some things here right now, have some peace and quiet, and get things done. Oh, well, so I, I, I just remembered because I'm doing my makeup and it just popped into my head. I got some Lily lashes. Lily lashes are usually expensive, they're usually like 30 bucks, the mink ones, I believe, 3D mink ones. And right now they're having a discount for, I think they're 20 bucks and some are like 8 bucks, so I got... Another pair of Mykonos, which is the pair that I used in my Thanksgiving makeup tutorial. And I love them. I love the way they make my eyes look. And I wore them yesterday for Thanksgiving. So I was like, I am going to get me another pair. And I got some other ones that were like the... the my camera shut off because it was too hot, but... Yeah, I don't even remember what I was saying, so. On to the next subject. What am I going to talk about? Where did Christmas shopping? Talked about Tennessee or North Carolina. Talked about pregnancy. I don't know. I don't really know what else there is to say. What's been going on in my life? Um... I took so many pictures yesterday from crap I'm getting mascara on my eyeshadow. I took so many pictures yesterday from Thanksgiving and I've actually printed them out because we have a printer here now. I had photo paper and stuff. And I actually printed them out. I wanna start like putting in an album or like a scrapbook thing. I'm not gonna do anything crazy with scrapbooking. I just wanna put them in like a scrapbook and have photos, like physical photos to look at. So I wanna start doing that. If anybody knows of any like good scrapbooks, like the kind that I want is like, it's like a ring. Shit. They're like the pronged or the ringed books instead of the ones that are just like fold open and stuff. Like I don't want that. I want the kind that have like cardboard like color looking paper that I can write on and stuff like I don't want to have that where you can like switch uh, slide in sheets and stuff like that like, I just want some where I can just stick on and that's it and I think I found some on Amazon which is just kind of annoying because I want it now but I was just putting them out and I want to do that especially because I'm gonna have a baby so I want to do have all those books that I really need to go through all of my 
pictures. I have so many pictures on my hard drive and then I have pictures on my mom's computer too because that's where I was and that's where I would always upload all of the pictures. So I need to get them from there. I know I have like thousands and thousands of videos of videos, pictures that I'm gonna have to look through, which is gonna be fun, but yeah. Anybody has any suggestions? Like I I don't want to keep using my printer. I just used it because that's what I had here. For all those pictures, I would like to use like a website or something. So if y'all have any suggestions for um good printing companies or whatever, then let me know down below. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put on lipstick and that's gonna be it. I love this lipstick. I've been wearing it so much lately. Oh, and this is from Dosa Colors, which was having a discount today, so. I just finished my lips. So, that is pretty much it with the Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I don't think I've done a Get Ready With Me in a while, or if ever, on my channel yet. I'm not sure, but yeah it was nice to just like kind of give y'all a little update on what was going on in my life right now and share some of my like, thoughts on some things and that's pretty much it so if you like these videos then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos that i have the new schedule that i'm going to be doing is every tuesday and friday i will be uploading a video i'm going to be trying to stick to that but yeah, that is what I'm doing. I wanted to have a schedule just because it gives me time to, it lets me plan ahead and figure out what I'm gonna, you know, film for those days and stuff. So yeah, I feel like it just makes me more consistent and y'all will know when to expect to watch a new video. So that's pretty much it. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.